we have Bullard bringing it up. Patrick, how are we feeling? Second half. You know, I was watching the OES boys shooting during halftime. Kobe really did seem to be hitting his threes. Let's see what we have in the second half. And Ian hits a three. That's three points for the Yardvarks, 25 to 20. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, the boys were looking a little better during their free shoot at the end of the half. Hopefully they've got some big plans to get on out there. And there's Felsener with good D. But we've got Williamson with the two points, bringing it back to 27 to 20. There's Bullard bringing up the ball to Bajovic to Holtzman. Lin, Jim Lynn brings it in, finds Bajovic, and it's tipped by Magutha, but it's going to be Aardvark ball. Magutha does seem to have pretty good hands and is able to get out on those shots, those passes, and able to tip the ball out. So the Aardvarks are going to have to have some strong, crisp passes going. Here's Bullard bringing it in, bringing it down. Finds Holtzman, fakes, puts it up for two. Felsner with the rebound to Pajovic. Over to Holtzman, puts it up for three. Bullard with the rebound. Great boards right here on this possession. And a foul is called at number three, Jet Shang. That's the first foul of this half here, folks. Aardvark's having great energy this first minute or so of the game. It's Pajovic in the corner, brings it up top. There's another tip from Agutha. Bullard drives in, kicks it out to Pajovic. Drives, puts up for two. Nice floater there. Tips it down, but it's recovered by Catlin and they bring out the ball. Shang with the ball. Good D there from OES, but there, Shang is still able to put up two, bringing the score 29 for the Eagles and 20 for the Aardvarks. Bullard brings up the ball. Finds Ian, Ian drives in, puts up two, and Williamson with the rebound. Finds Magutha who brings it up. Magutha drives in, puts up a nice floater for two, and that's 31 to 20. Nice break of the press here. And it's Holtzman to Jim Lynn. We've got a blocking foul called on Williamson. In for the Eagles is number four, Jake Gerard. Bullard puts up three, and Alden Felsener with the rebound. A great strong rebound there. Jim Lynn drives in, kicks it out to Pajovic, who drives in, puts up two, and is knocked down, but no foul call. Shang bringing up the ball here. Jim Lim with a great block. See if that can get the Aardvarks going here. Down 11 in the third quarter. And on that note, there seem to be more OES fans filling the stands, and there's definitely a great turnout from Catlin down there. It's awesome to see a bunch of our students showing up for an away game. Let's hope this gives the Aardvarks some energy. As Magutha puts up three, Jim Lim gets the rebound. Catlin already with three fouls here in this half. See if that plays a role when free throw shooting come, becomes important in the fourth quarter. It's a good observation. I'd say our team is pretty strong when it comes to free throws. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage. In the last half, we were in a bit of foul trouble. So hopefully that the tides will turn a bit. And there's Bullard with three. And the ball's out. Catlin ball.
Here's Shang bringing up the ball. Holtzman's doing a pretty good job guarding him. Hopefully he can continue to do that in this half. <laughs> foul called on Alden Felsner. That'll be the Aardvark's first team foul this half. That's Alden's third foul, so he's gonna have to watch his reaching and keep his hands off. Shang with the ball on the perimeter. Finds Magutha in the corner. Jim Lin playing excellent defense on him. And Agapiv puts up two. Timeout called for OES. At the timeout, the Eagles lead 33 to 20. The Varks do seem to be having a bit of a tough time getting started again this half, but Let's hope OES comes out a little bit more patient here, still with plenty of time. Hopefully they can try to set up their offense and look to get the right shot. Absolutely, in no way are the Varks out of this at this point. Here we go with OES ball. Catlin on the high pressure. Let's see if they do a better job of breaking that press this half. Fine Holtzman. Back to Wilmot who find Wilmot struggles a little bit there with the double team. Catlin's full court defense is looking really tough. Hopefully the Aardvarks can find a way to break that press soon. Here's Agape with the ball. And Shang drives in. And Wilmot with the rebound, drives in, puts it up, and that's two for Wilmot. Charles Wilmot putting in a great first season as a freshman this year. Definitely going to be stepping up next year on a great team player. Lots of energy. Hustles after every ball. Jim Lynn with the contest and Holtzman with the rebound. Holtzman puts up and hits a nice mid-range two-pointer. Green score 33 for the Eagles, 24 for the Aardvarks. Five points for Ian Holtzman here in the second half. Great energy from Holtzman. Let's hope he keeps up those shots, encouraging others to shoot too and get the energy up. And that's a turn of steal from Luka Pajovic as Holtzman brings up the ball, finds Wilmot down the court, who drives in, and one for Wilmot. That's great energy. We've got the OES fans going crazy. Wilmot in the line to make an and one. That foul is on number 21, Agapiv, who also has three fouls. Wilmot can't quite connect on the free throw, but definitely made up for making the and one, making the shot under pressure. That's two points for the Eagles under immense pressure from the Aardvarks. Here comes Wilmot, puts up three. Rebounded by Pajovic out to Bullard. Who hits the three? OES fans going crazy here. And that brings the score to 35 to 29. Colby hitting a three there. Let's see if that gets him hot. <laughs> 
seems to be offsetting fouls on both number 13, Charles Wilmot, and number three, Jet Chang. Meaning it's Catlin Ball, and they try to bring it up the field, court. Sure. Patrick's going to take over on the play-by-play play play for the next couple minutes. All right, Patrick Ruff here, Maddie Reynolds doing a great job in the first half and first part of the first quarter. A uh, foul on the ground on 13, Charles Wilmot. Catlin ball on the baseline. Sure. Catlin looking for Williamson, gets it in the corner. Back up top to Rowan. Rowan over to Langloss. Langloss a fade away. And it's off. Out of bounds. And Catlin ball. Fans furious here as that looked to be Aardvark ball. Hoffman to inbound. Finds Sasha. And Sasha's called for a double dribble. Aardvark's down by six with a minute 30 here in the third quarter. Wilmot to inbound on the baseline for the Aardvarks. See if they can break the press here. Wilmot gives the ball to Holzman. And double teamed, ball goes back to Wilmot. Wilmot up to Bullard. Bullard into the corner, here's Luca. Luca to Jim, a great pass. Beautiful press break there by the Aardvarks as they pull it within four. A minute 24 left in the third. And Catlin calls timeout. Great play by the Aardvarks to get back in it. Had some great energy from the OES, not only the fans, but also the players, bringing the score just 35 to 31. Let's hope OES can keep that up and try to pull this out for a win. Jim Lim now with two rebounds, two assists, and one steal. All in the third quarter. Great play by Jim here. Maddie, what do you think the Aardvarks need to do to try to get back into this game? Just keep up the energy and the intensity and keep taking those shots on the outside and the inside. They seem to be having great success driving in, getting those under the basket shots with Wilmot with the and one and Jim Lynn right under the basket, bringing the score closer together. Thanks, Maddie. Here we go, Catlin ball on the sideline. Hoffman inbounds to Freddie. Freddie over to Shang. Shang guarded by Wilmot. Ball goes back over to Hoffman. Hoffman down the low to Williamson. Williamson backing down Jim. And ball goes back out and over and back. OES ball, one minute left here. OES can pull it to within a one possession game here. Wilmot to inbound on the sideline. Ball goes into Colby in the backcourt. Colby setting up the offense. Dribbles left, gets a screen from Jim. And ball goes over to Ian. Ian, looking for a pass, finds Luca. Ball goes back to Ian. Ian dribbling, and he's fouled. Foul on Jonah Zeller. One more foul, and the OES will be in the bonus. Wilmot gets it to Bullard in the backcourt. Bullard guarded by Dean. 37 seconds left here. Colby picks up his dribble, gets it over to Jim. Back to Bullard. Bullard still guarded by Dean, drives into the lane, looking for a pass, gets it to Ian up top with 20 seconds left now. Ian takes a screen from Jim, and now finds Jim on the pick and roll, goes over the top, gets to Luca, now to Jim. Jim back up to Ian, Ian drives into the lane. Over into the corner, 
And Charles with a great play, but the layup is off. Nine seconds left here as Catlin looks to get the last shot. And Catlin misses it. A four point lead for the Eagles going into the fourth quarter. Thank you, Patrick. That was some excellent commentating. Great energy to match the energy on the court. Uh, Colby with three points here in the second and third corner. Hopefully Colby can heat up here in the fourth to try to pull the Aardvarks to a victory. Here we go, starting the fourth quarter, Aardvark's down by four. Here's Hoffman with the ball, bringing it up the court. Turnover for Jim Lynn, bringing up the ball, driving the hoop, finds Pajovic, who puts it up for two. Fans go crazy, bringing the score just within two points. That's what we like to see. Great energy from both fans and great push from the Aardvarks. Brisbee on the tight D. Here we have Agapiv out to Dean. Now it's Hoffman driving in to Zeller. And a turnover. But a foul is called. I mean, you're not sure what the ref's going to call? Foul is called on number 10, David Brisby. That's his second personal foul. We have Agapiv. Now to Hoffman. That's Shang. Brisby on the defense. Shang puts up two, but gets, def gets blocked by Jim Lynn. Eagles ball. Hoffman didn't bound the ball. Quickly, but passes it right to Jim Lynn. And it's Aardvark ball. Aardvark's now within a one with a one possession game here with the ball. Seem to be some great energy from the Aardvarks here. Great push in the fourth quarter. Pajov with the ball, bringing it up to Bullard. Bullard pulls up for three. And it's rebounded by Holtzman, who puts up for two. But rebounded by Zeller. But a great hustle there. Here's Shane pushing up floor to Hoffman, who looks inside to Zeller. Jim Lynn playing good D, but a foul is called. Foul is called again on number 10, David Brisby, his third personal foul. Hoffman inbounding the ball. And there's Agapiv with the ball to Shang. Shang on the perimeter. Screen coming, and here comes Shang to drive in, pulls up for two. But Brisby with the rebound. Brings, gives it to Col Bullard, who brings it up. Finds Jim Lin in the corner. Find. Pushes it back up to Ian. Sets a screen and a roll. Jim Lynn drives in. Gets the foul call. Putting Jim Lynn to the line for two shots. This could be it, folks. This could bring, Jim Lynn can bring the Aardvarks up to a tie game right here. Here we've got the foul call on number 14, Jonah Zeller. K 
Can't connect on the first one, but that's okay. He's still got one more. In for the Aardvarks is number 14, John Fitenry. Brisby to Jim Lynn, back to Brisby. We got Fitenry out to Bullard, who drives in, puts up a nice two. And it's in! That's tie game. OES fans going crazy. Hopefully their energy will be matched by the Aardvarks. Game tied here for the first time since the first quarter. Frisbee out. And that'll be his fourth personal foul. Into the Aardvarks is freshman Charles Wilmot. The Aardvarks now have a total of six personal fouls. They're gonna have to be careful, otherwise Catlin's gonna be shooting bonus as well. Here's Magutha with the ball. Agpe with the screen. Hoffman with the ball. Drives in. Jimlin goes to defend. It's Holtzman with the rebound, who pushes it up to Wilmot. Wilmot steady with the ball there. Holtzman holds it. Jim with the screen and the roll. Takes the ball out to Bullard, who puts it up for three. Rebounded by Shang, but a good contest by John Fitenry. A great hustle by John Fitzhenry. John Fitzhenry able to force a jump ball there. Great aggression out of Fitzhenry. Absolutely, that's like what we like to see. Not only is the intensity in the fans, but it's also on the court. Holtzman gets the ball. Finds Jim Lynn. Jim Lynn back out to Holtzman. Drives in, puts up two, and that's it. Aardvarks take the lead. Here's Magutha bringing up the ball. The OES fans are very excited here. Here's Shang with the ball. Shang gets deflected. An insane block by Jim Lynn. Uh, Ian Holzman with nine points and four rebounds in the past three quarters. It's a great show from Ian. Senior captain, last season as an OES Aardvark, really leaving it all on the court. Shane connects on the first one, but Aardvark still have the lead, but bringing the game but within one point. Shane misses, and Holtzman with the rebound, bringing up the ball. Hoffman on the defense. Jim on the roll, drives in, finds Holtzman, who drives in, puts up a floater, and hits two! That's Aardvarks with a three-point lead. Magutha with the ball, bringing it up. Bullard on the defense. Magutha drives in, Jim Lynn puts up a good defense, and it's Aardvark, good hustle, finds Wilmot, Wilmot goes in, and it's two points for Charles Wilmot! It's a great hustle, great look ahead. Oh yes, fans going crazy and puts the OES Aardvarks up by five. Oh. Some confusion about the call here. May have been a travel by Charles Wilmot. Fans still ecstatic. And our fellow broadcaster, Colin, seems to be trying to get our fans hyped up for the last four minutes here. Comment from eBank on the statistics that Colin Bach needs to get the cheers going. Time out here, four minutes and 21 seconds left to go. <laughs> Patty, how we feeling? Uh, feeling good, up by five here with four minutes left. Here we go, Aardvarks. Back out on the court. 
Lots of intensity from not only the OES fans, but also the Catlin fans. Seems to be, things are definitely heating up out here. And it's Catlin ball. Seems like the middle schoolers are trying to get some chants started. Agapeev bringing up the ball. Pajovic on the defense. Holtzman defending, number 23, Lang Lois. Shang with the ball. Charles Wilman on the defense. And that's a foul called on, a third, on the Catlin Gable Eagles. That'll be Aardvark ball. It's, it's a real game changer, great change of pace, keeping up with the intensity and momentum for the OES Aardvarks. Number 23, Lang Lois is subbed out. That's his third personal foul. Holtzman finds Jim Lin. Uh, Jim Lin fumbles the pass. It's important to not get frustrated with their teammates here, which they seem, they seem to be keeping a good positive attitude. Charles one one on the defense. Magutha with the ball. Drives. Jovic on the defense. Magutha driving in. And a foul called right here. Let them play basketball. Sihova with the comment that let them play basketball. In for the Eagles is number 10, Hoffman. To the line, number 21, Sasha Agapiv. Connects on the first one. Still plenty of time for an Eagles comeback. OES must continue to push the pace. Absolutely, pace is crucial right now. If OES can keep up this momentum, they can pull out a win for sure. Agapiv with his second and connects. OES to bring up the ball here. Wilma inbounding into Holtzman. Here's that Catlin press again. Bullard with the ball. Passes to Luka Pajovic down low. He's back up to Bullard. Bullard drives in, finds Jim Lynn, who passes back to Bullard. Here comes a screen and a roll. Bullard drives. Hands off to Wilmot. And Bullard back with the ball. Foul called right here. One and one puts Bullard at the line. Foul is on. Number 10, Rowan Hoffman. Bullard at the line. Doesn't quite connect and it's Eagles ball. Bringing it up, Agape back to Hoffman. Hoffman brings up the ball, passes it off to Shang. Shang finds Magutha. Oh yes, getting some nice cheers and chants up in here. Really hoping to spark morale. Not that morale is low. Oh yes, having some great energy right here. Magutha puts up two and tries to get the rebound. Luka Pajovic with the contest, but. And that's Agapiv and Jim Lin with the block. Agapiv puts it up again. There's a foul call. Two shots put Sasha Agapiv at the line. The fans are, the OES fans are very unhappy with this call, but the Catlin fans seem to be pretty happy. Jim Lin doing pretty much everything for the Aardvarks tonight with two points, four rebounds, two blocks, and two assists. Absolutely, he's all over the, all over the court on loose balls, blocks, shots. Great energy from Jim Lin tonight. Although he did draw a foul, he doesn't seem to be shot, sh shying down from any action tonight. Alga Peep connects. Bringing the score to 41 for the Aardvarks and 39 for the Eagles. Sasha Agapiv connects again, bringing the, po the point total within one point of each other. Bullard bringing up the ball. Lots of intensity on both sides of the court, not just from the teams, but also from the fans. Jim Lin with the rebound. Luka Pajovic up for two and hits it. Oh, yes, fans go wild. Here's Catlin bringing up the ball. And it's Rowan Hoffman bringing up the ball. 
Patrick, what do the Aardvarks need to do to keep this momentum and keep the game in their favor? Uh, just continue playing how they've been playing. Stay aggressive on defense. Uh, take your time on offense. Get a good shot, but continue to put, be aggressive. Couldn't have said it my, better myself. Out to Magutha, who puts it up for three. And Jim Lynn with an intense rebound and seems to be pushing off number 32, Ned Williamson. Things are definitely heating up around here, and timeout is called for the, by the Aardvarks. It's a full timeout, folks. Already been a great game here, but with two minutes left, this could be a great finish and one of a in a great rivalry between the Aardvarks and the Eagles. For those of you who might not know, the OES Catlin rivalry is one of the longest standing rivalries in Oregon history. That's the first horn. And here they come. Three point game right here with OES up by three, 43 to 40. Catlin fans are all standing right now. OES fans are still sitting. Here's Holtzman bringing up the ball with tight D from Shang. Holtzman spin move. Passes off to Wilmot. Passes off to Bullard. Drives in. Finds Holtzman. Drives in. Charles Wilmot on the perimeter. And then here's Hoffman going up for two. A bit of a dirty play there, gonna be honest. Score is now 43 to 42, still in favor of the Yardvarks, but it is now a one point game. Bullard with the ball out, out up top. Holtzman drives in, puts up two. And an intense battle for rebound. And it's gonna be OES ball, OES fans go crazy. Lots of energy here, lots of excitement. Things are really heating up. Wilmot's inbound the ball, finds Holtzman. Holtzman in the corner, drives in. And gets a foul. That'll be two. That'll be Ian Holtzman at the line for two. Fouls on number 23. Excuse me. That's 32. Timeout called right here. Full timeout. Epidae Magatha dropped 20 points against the Aardvarks last time they played them, only with about 10 tonight. Good defense on the, by the Aardvarks tonight. Ben, Ben, you can wave, you can wave. <laughs> Good to see some middle schoolers out here tonight, huh, Patrick? Uh, that's right. Uh, hoping to get a few more of you out there if OES can advance in the ne into the next round. Absolutely. Hopefully we will be playing De La Salle at De La Salle for the league championship game, which will, in a win tonight, will advance the Aardvarks into the state tournament. <laughs> Catlin fans gearing up down there. They all appear to be standing. That being said, OES's intensity from the fans and energy has been fantastic. Ian Holtzman at the line for two. All the noise from Catlin doesn't rock Ian Holtzman at all as he puts away his first of two free throws. And again, Ian Holtzman not rocked at all by these Catlin fans. That's 13 points for Ian in the past three quarters. Defense! Defense! OES fans intensity. Defense! 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 
Shane kicks the ball to Hoffman. Hoffman puts up the ball, but can't connect. No shot, foul call. That's an offensive foul call, we're shooting. Putting Ian Holtzman back the line. Score is 45 to 42 for OES. Turns out we had the wrong shooter up in the line. Here we have Jim Lynn to put up two. Jim Lynn misses his first, but looking to connect on the second. All of the OES aardvarks on the court go to support Jim. Such a tight-knit team out here. Great to see this kind of camaraderie. Rebounded by Hoffman and the Eagles bring it up. 54 seconds to go and the OES leads by three. Magutha to Shane out in the corner. Screen, Shane drives. Drives down. Magutha in the corner. Magutha up to Hoffman up top. Timeout called by the Eagles. We could also just, we could stop it and just watch the one. I got to help him up. Do you want to come squat with me? I can't see you. Hey, Chris, are we in it? Okay. 37 seconds to go on the clock, and OES leads by three. Been a great game so far. Hopefully, OES can get a good result. This would be an awesome win for the Aardvarks. Catlin has won the past two. It's too soon to say, but OES is looking pretty tough out here. Catlin ball just over the line. Wilmot looking for the steal, but Shang brings it up. Passes out to Hoffman. Hoffman with the pull out. Holtzman on the defense here. And a little tip. Drives in, Luke on, the, brings the game within two. 20 seconds to go. OES looking to hold the ball here. Foul is called. Colby will go to the line as OES is in the double bonus here. Colored has a chance, Bullard has a chance to put, it up, put him up by three. We'll see how he does here. Lots of support here for senior captain Colby Bullard. This will be Colby Bullard's last time playing at Catlin Gable. And he makes his first free throw, putting the Aardvarks up by two. Oh, yes, really leaving everything out on the court here, especially their seniors. Most specifically, we've got Jim and Colby and Ian still on the court here. Colby puts the second one away, putting the oh, yes, Aardvarks up by three. Magutha bringing up the ball. Bullard on the defense. Who finds Hoffman, drives in, kicks it out, puts up a three, no foul called, two, one, and that's game for OES! Fans rush the field! That's all for this game. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on Thursday. Be there to support De La Salle. OES at De La Salle. S support OES. That's all. Thanks.